combatants are in the ring. Let's go up now to Chuck Hall. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the second of the semifinal events in the tournament. Introducing from Atlanta, Georgia, a young man standing six feet tall, weighing 190 pounds. His second appearance of the evening, here is Juan Mott. And his opponent, also his second appearance of the evening, from Brazil, six feet, one inches, weighing 195 pounds, introducing Murilo Bustamante. Well, gentlemen, Juan Mott became an instant favorite when he took care of Matsumoto so quickly with that high right knee and knocked him out on his feet. But this is a whole different animal he's going to tangle with now. Let's go! I think we'll see very rapidly the difference between this, the prior fight and this one. This is interesting. This is the first time we've had players more or less stand in the center of the ring and eye each other, and then the immediate takedown run. Camonte went for that one leg, took it down, and there it is. He's already ready to do damage. Now, it's interesting. He was inside the guard easily, quickly out. Not is trying to grab for a leg. Bustamante is keeping him off with his feet from the guard, and now he's standing. And he immediately takes Mott back to the canvas. He's almost got a cross-eyed position. In this position, expect him to put that knee to the abdomen or to go over across into a complete mount. You notice how Mott already has his leg up there to keep him from crossing over to the mount position. So he's already figured out how to block that particular move right now. And he's trying to roll over. Which would kill him. There's that knee to the abdomen, just as you expected. Bustamante has great distance to throw blows now. That's over. That's it. Well, Ron, you indicated it was going to be quick. And it was Juan Mott quickly tapping to get out of this one. Once you turn over on your stomach, you're in deep trouble with these Brazilian fighters. Once, the, once Bustamante got that knee in on the stomach, he was able to put pressure on the stomach, which is painful. He was also able to extend his body up to give himself distance to really punch with power. And he did that forcing Mott to turn over on his stomach. So Bustamante now advancing into the finals, and he's going to go against the big guy, Tom Erickson. This is going to be a real treat. I know uh, I've been looking forward to this type of event for a long time. A true international caliber heavyweight wrestler against a top Brazilian jiu-jitsu stylist. We're really in store for a treat. All right, let's go up to the ring now for the official announcement. Here's Chuck Hall. Ladies and gentlemen, at one minute, nine seconds of the bout, the winner by submission is going into the final of the night, Mario Bustamante. Let's take a look at it and how quickly it happened right here as Bustamante with the quick attack against Juan Mott. And notice he took no blows. He got in rapidly and took it down. He sustained no damage himself. And then the end came very, very quick and swift, Ron. As soon as he turned him over on his stomach, it was over. And what Mott knew it was over. Yes. 